we are solving the example of differential equation of first order and higher degree our example is p into p minus y is equals to x into x plus y where p is equals to dy by dx solve this equation as p square minus py minus x into x plus y is equals to 0 which is quadratic in p Therefore, solve this equation for p, we get p is equals to y plus minus square root of y square plus 4x into x plus y divided by 2. On further solving, we get 2p is equals to y plus minus square root of y square plus 4x square plus 4xy. On further solving, 2p is equals to y plus minus y plus 2x. Since y square plus 4x square plus 4xy is the expansion of the term y plus 2x, therefore on taking its square root, we get y plus 2x. And 2p is equals to y plus minus y plus 2x is the solution of that quadratic in p equation. Therefore, 2p is equals to 2y plus 2x is, a, is one of the equation and we can write p is equals to y plus x. Since p is equals to dy by dx, we can write dy by dx minus y is equals to x. Number this equation as 1. And 2p is equals to minus 2x. Therefore, p is equals to minus x. We can write this as p plus x is equals to 0. The value of p is dy by dx. Therefore, we can write it as dy by dx plus x is equals to 0. Number this equation as 2. On integrating, we get dy by dx minus y is equals to x, which is a linear differential equation of first order. Its integrating factor is e raised to integration of minus dx. An integration of minus 1 with respect to x is minus x, therefore e raised to minus x. Therefore, e raised to minus x and our integrating factor is 1 upon e raised to x. Solution of the linear differential equation is yi is equals to integration of qi plus c. Therefore, after putting the value of integrating factor in this equation, we get y into e raised to minus x is equals to integration of x into e raised to minus x dx plus c. We solve this equation or this integration by integration by part since x and e raised to e x both the function of x. Therefore, we have to solve this integration by, by, by parts. And we can write y into e raised to minus x is equals to minus x into e raised to minus x minus e raised to minus x and derivative of one x with respect to x is 1. Therefore, minus x minus e raised to minus x minus e raised to minus x plus c is the answer of the integration x into e raised to minus x therefore x plus y plus 1 we can take e raised to minus x common and we get x plus y plus 1 into e raised to x is equals to c there, therefore x plus y plus 1 is equals to e raised to say e raised to x into c and we can write x plus y plus 1 minus c into e raised to x is equals to 0 we get this equation after solving the Linear differential equation dy by dx minus y is equals to x. Now, integrate equation second. 
which is dy by dx plus x is equals to 0. We can write this equation as dy by dx plus x is equals to 0. On further solving, we get this equation as dy plus x dx is equals to 0, which is a variable separable form. So now we can apply integration to this term, to this equation. So we get integration of dy with respect to y is y plus integration of x with respect to x is x square upon 2, which is equal to c1, where c1 is the constant of integration. Therefore, y plus x square upon 2 is equal to c1 is the solution of the different of the integration we can further solve that equation we get x square plus 2y is equals to twice of c1 we can write twice of c1 as c since it is it is a constant of integration therefore x square plus 2y is equals to c and on further right we can write it as x square plus 2y minus c is equals to 0 number this equation as 4 for equation from equation 3 and 4 we can say that the, the, the general solution of the given differential equation is x plus y plus 1 minus c into e raised to x into x square plus 2y minus c is equals to 0. On combining these two equations we get this equation and therefore the general solution of the differential equation p into p minus y is equals to x into x plus y is x plus y plus 1 minus c into e raised to x into x square plus 2y minus c is equals to 0.